Hi everybody. So I would just like to talk about an experience that I had um, maybe about a week ago, maybe about six, six, seven days ago. And it was with the teacher or pastor or whatever you want to call him <clears throat> of a ministry. And I had been keeping up with this ministry for like about a year, more than a year. Every now and then I would turn them on and they have very good uh, teaching on right division, this person. And uh, so I decided, you know, um, see what I do is like I'll find pastors who are rightly dividing the Bible and I'll share with them about flat earth. And then I'll find some flat earth pastors and I'll share with them about right division. And so that's how I do it. And my goal in my mind was like to 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 share as much knowledge as I could with um, people who are teaching and stuff like this so that they could share it. <clears throat> but the way things are, the truth is that that's really not the way that it works out. Usually, sometimes maybe, but <clears throat> chances are is that to have a pastor who rightly divides the Bible and believes in true biblical cosmology, I'm not sure if I've, there's one guy who's close, um, that's Rodney Bowyer, but I'm not sure if I've ever seen somebody that's both because and here's the reason why uh is because the people who are behind the pulpits they're older they're gen they're an older generation okay we're talking about guys who are 45 up into their 60s that are behind the pulpits and they've been teaching something for a long time and the old the same goes you know you can't teach an old dog new tricks. And the reason that that saying holds a lot of water is because when somebody is in a belief for longer and longer and longer, it's harder for them to see the light that they're wrong about something or that they're just misguided about something. And so that saying does hold a lot of water, a lot of truth. And a lot of times, people can't see the further the point of all of it. Well, if the earth is flat around, or if it's flat through space, why does it matter? And then you have to tell them, connect the dots for them, so that they see, you know, creation. There, there hasn't been one other subject that has been turned people away more from God than the Big Bang and evolution that they teach in, in these schools. And that's why it's a big deal, because if the earth is motionless and it's flat and people can see that, then and it's in the Bible, then that leads people to the Bible, to Jesus Christ. It's so obvious to me. But like I said, old timers, baby boomers, whatever you want to call them, they don't get it. They don't connect the dots. They're they're in, you know, even though they're grace pastors, they're still it can become religious. They can become religious in their thinking and in their actions. So anyways, so basically I'm going to tell you guys the truth about what this guy said. And it is such hypocrisy and such baloney um, when I talked to this guy, what he said. The first thing that he said, because we finally got on, he called me. We went back and forth in text and it was a little rigid I think I think he might have got a little offended by something that I said because uh, he didn't want to talk about Bible verses about flat, stable earth over the over the Internet. Yet he has a donate button. So I told him, I go, OK, wait, so I could donate as much money to you as I want a thousand miles away. But we can't talk a little Bible for 15, 20 minutes. How does that work? And I think he got mad about that. But it's true. If you have a donate, if I had a donate button on my Instagram, then I would feel like I'm a little obligated to, you know, respond to people or answer questions, stuff like that. 
But I do it anyways, but I don't have a donate button. So I told him, and I think he got a little upset. So he calls me. I'm half asleep. And the first thing that he says is, look, he goes, well, one of the reasons why I don't go into that, and this is what he said, not because it's not true, not because it holds a lot of weight. No, no, no. I had nothing to do with that. He said, because it's divisive. That was his excuse, because it's divisive, meaning that it would divide people even more. And I'm thinking to myself, this guy, did he really say that? And it's interesting because that verse comes to my mind. It's like, the word of God is sharper than a two-edged sword. It cuts asunder the hearts and intents and all that stuff of man. And I'm like... I'm thinking, that's exactly what it's supposed to do. That is 100% the reason why you need to address this subject. So we can divide people and figure out people's intents and they're inside their heart. And, and in the end, it's the right thing to do. That's what, and I bet you, I know every Christian would agree with me that regardless of it, hurts us or not, or whatever, we should know the truth about the Bible. And, and so then I said, well, doesn't right division do the same thing? Which it does. When you show somebody right division of the Bible, 2 Timothy 2.15, they have to, a man, come to terms with, look, I'm probably wrong about a lot of things. And so he cut me off so fast, he kept talking over me. He wouldn't let me speak. Every time I try to say something, he's talking under his breath. I swear, I'm not even lying. And so finally he said, well, why don't you put your money where your mouth is? This is what he told me. He said, put your money where your mouth is, and we'll do a donation, you and all your flat earth buddies. And I know a guy at Tesla, and we'll put you in a rocket and go up. And I'm thinking... Why Why do I need to go up? I could do tests from here on earth. I don't need to go up in a rocket and raise $75,000 because that's what he said. And I don't. I have a Bible. And I'm thinking to myself, everything that this guy is saying is completely contrary to what a Christian would say. Because a Christian would just say, well, I believe the Bible. I don't care what people around me say. I don't care what NASA says about whatever i'm not flying through space at over five hundred thousand miles an hour on a spinning rotating ball i don't believe that i believe my bible earth is stationary it does not move cannot be moved psalms 93 1 psalms 104 verse 5 but no he didn't come at me like that he didn't come at me with i believe the bible let's talk about the bible he came at me with it's too divisive and uh, put your money where your mouth is. Get in a rocket. And this guy. And then finally, I said, well, you can't. And I was going to say you can't go up only to a certain extent. But before I said, right after I said you can't, he hung up on me. And I was not even rude on the phone. And that's the response that I got from this guy. And... uh and I, I just wanted to let you guys know, uh, because, um, you know, if you do try to share things with other people, not just pastors and teachers, don't expect a very positive reaction. You know, either a person's not really going to care or um, they're going to reject it. And, and seldom times they'll listen and they'll it'll ring a bell inside their heart. And they'll do a little research and, and they're, they'll care. But the majority of the time, that's not going to happen. You know, you got to understand it. You know, the days of uh, this dispensation that we're in, this age, they're, they're, they're coming to an end. And that's why all the truth is coming out about everything. As we could see with the internet, you can find out anything. Why do you think I know so many of you scroll down my. Instagram, you think, oh, this guy's just a genius. He's so smart. He must be in school for 10. I didn't learn anything that I know in school. I learned everything that I know from the internet and the Bible. That's it. All the things that I put, none of that's from school. 
None, pretty much none of it. I can't think of anything that I posted that I learned in these public schools in America. None of it. And so, you know, we're we're at the time where God's opening people's eyes to the truth. And it's people like me and some of you guys out there that are trying to do that. And God's working through us, but it's a battlefield. Like you're running it, you're up against that's what spiritual warfare is. Is you trying to show somebody something they're not caring or they don't get it or they don't believe it. Uh even to the point of not addressing an issue like this guy. And and, and even though it's completely biblical. And really what the Bible calls that is being wise in your own conceits. Holding the truth and unrighteousness. Basically knowing or believing the true biblical cosmology in this case. But not telling the people about it for one reason or another. And we know that that's not what God wants us to do. If we know the truth, we're supposed to tell it regardless. And um, I was really surprised because this guy, I watched him. I've been keeping up with him for a long time. And I thought that he was going to be true blue, straight up, interested. He's like, you know, he also told me, I forgot. He also told me, you know, I've been dealing with you flat earthers for about 15 years. 15 years this guy has been hanging up on flat earthers. And you got to think to yourself, man. If there's been people trying to contact him about true biblical cosmology for 15 years and he's been rejecting it for that long, they'll take a complete miracle for this guy to come around to even take a look at it. I mean, I sent him all kinds of Bible verses and showed him all kinds of things through his Gmail and stuff. But, you know, the truth is, is that on any subject, especially when it comes to the Bible, no matter, sometimes, no matter how much you show a person something, no matter how much you try to, you know, show them Bible verses or scientific tests or make examples, sometimes it, it takes a miraculous miracle of God and that's it. Because rejecting biblical cosmology for oh, for 15 years, people have been trying to show him. Man, that's a long time to believe in fairy tales like NASA. And I don't say that to offend anybody out there who's not quite up to speed on biblical cosmology. Uh, not, it's not to offend you, but we're talking about a pastor here who's been the the pastor for i don't know if he's been rejecting him for 15 years he's probably been a pastor for 30 years so that's a different case to people who aren't quite sure about this subject and who are just regular christians and you don't run a church or an assembly that's different but we're talking about a man who is supposed to who has a flock of people and he's been hiding and it 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 truly sounded to me like he knows because the first thing he said is was well, too divisive. No, he didn't say it ain't true. He didn't say it doesn't make any sense. He didn't say it's not biblical. No, he didn't say that. He says it's too divisive. So he knows something. He he knows in his heart. Listening to Bill Nye and Neil deGrasse Tyson, but then you wake up and you start to see. 
the obvious Life is just a lie and this whole world ain't what we thought it was NASA's missions to the moon were never completed They just filmed them in a room and people believe it I used to wonder what it's like to be an astronaut Now when I see them acting I can't help but to laugh a lot They give us cartoons and they claim that we live on a ball But it's flat and it's not moving or spinning at all Why you lying to us man that's something that we want to know After that you're gonna have to pack up all your stuff and go By winners of wars, the Jesuit order, Khazars, Freemasons, and more. They pulled the veil over our eyes, and it's time to awaken. Through organized indoctrination, our minds have been taken. It's time we take our power back and we rescue our people. The Vatican and the bankers are like resident evil. They may have had the greatest plan that was ever concocted, but Illuminati never thought that they'd ever be spotted. They're manufacturing reality all in our heads. They tell us if the earth is flat, then we'll fall off the edge. But if it is a spinning ball, we won't fall off it then. And gravity is our imaginary magic friend. Why is water? Are always flat when unmanipulated why are pictures of the earth computer generated why you lying to us man that's something that we want to know after that you're gonna have to pack up all your stuff and go Space man, man, the